Welcome to the short instruction video on how to connect and work with the call recorder Pico. What is needed is the telephone, the Pico of course, the lead between the Pico and the handset and the USB cable. First we will detach the handset from the telephone. This connector is what's usually referred to as an RJ10 handset connector. We'll put the handset aside. Now we take the curly cord. And we use the small connector, the RJ10, and insert it into the back of the telephone. The other bigger connector, referred to as RJ11 or RJ12, will be inserted into the larger connector of the Pico. The next step is to reconnect the handset through the Pico device. So we connect the handset connector in the small connector of the Pico so that the signal will actually pass through the Pico. To test the connection, simply pick up the phone and listen if you hear a dial tone. After that, we take the USB cable, insert it into the back of the Pico and connect the other end of the USB cable to the PC. This completes the physical installation of the Pico. After connecting the Pico to the computer through the USB port, it is time to set up the software using the product CD or the installation file provided. To install the software, you will need a key provided by your supplier. During the initial setup, several fields must be filled in to complete the installation. Afterwards, you will be asked to start up the software. To set up the Pico with the software, click on Options and go to Devices. If the Pico was connected correctly, you will see in Devices the call recorder Pico and the serial number. In this field, you may change the device name and choose the correct settings for your connection to the phone. Filling in the next field decides how your Pico will start and stop, whether it's to be manual, which is preferred in many cases, or automatic. In the volume settings, adjustments can be made to the settings of the recordings. This should only be changed when needed. The extra field provides two problem-solving possibilities, but both should be left blank during initial installation. After this, apply the chosen settings and proceed to Options and Setup. In these setup pages, the users or administrator can choose the required options and preferences. The layout of the database, Skype recording, encryption, password protection, automated software startup, recording notification for the remote caller, and several other options can be activated or set up. After this is finished, apply and return to the main screen. What will follow now is a demonstration of a recorded call. When a recording starts, either automatically or by pressing the button on the Pico, you will notice activity in the main screen. You will see the time and duration of the call for as long as it is running. When the recording has stopped, it will show up in the database and you will be able to fill in the note fields and further information like the name of the caller, his telephone number and any special notes that you want to tag on this call. As soon as you click OK, the information will be added to the database. To play back any call, simply select a call and press play. Once you are done, press stop or wait until the call is finished. 
filling in the call details while making calls will help you find back your calls more quickly once you have a larger database. By going to the search screen and filling in the details that you know about the call, you will be able to retrieve them fast and quickly. Some calls may have been protected by a password or an encryption key. Fill in the password to play back the call. Further instructions and options can be found in the help file or in the manual on the disk. Thank you for your attention.